guys welcome back to my channel it's another beautiful day and it is early in the morning uh, right now we're gonna head over to see my esthetician because i'm gonna get a chemical pill i know um i am a little bit nervous just because you know of the the after effects that the chemical pill uh brings but it's okay you know i been trying to take care of my skin so hopefully this is it <laughs> and um hopefully it helps my skin um last week if you follow me on snapchat you know that i got a hydro facial and the hydro facial you guys it feels so good afterwards you know because it got it gets rid of all the junk and all that but um i still have a lot of imperfections and i also got 20 units of botox on around my eyes i know to me you know botox to me is like um changing your hair color and just taking care of that um but i did got 20 units and i am able to see they said that it takes about five to seven days to see the effects and it's been seven days today so um i was able to see after two days like um my my lines you know they're not there makes me so happy if you've been following me for a long time and this is like when i first started youtube which was two years ago you know i used to mention a lot about getting botox but i never had the opportunity um this time uh, I, I i'm going to the same place where i got my my surgery with my um surgeon um they have the same uh dissertation I, I located right there with my surgeon's office um and i was given the option uh, i guess as a free gift i got either 20, 20 free units of botox i got some other stuff for skincare and also a skin revision for me you guys to be honest like this my my scars they're like really you cannot even see them it's only been a month so they're not bothering me they're obviously not gonna bother me um it's no secret that i got a boob job and it's not like i'm gonna be walking around naked or you know going around showing the underneath underneath there um because that's the only time you, you're able to see like the little scar which you know of course it's only been a month but uh, that to me it's not a problem so i obviously um didn't go for that so i did chose botox and i just i got the free you know the 20 units which covered around my eyes and i wanted to see how i felt about it and how my body reacted to it so which it did pretty good so i think you know um three months because you have to redo it every three months so next month next when, when my next visit i think i am gonna get you know the full treatment but that's that you guys i'm just waiting for Liz to finish getting ready so we can head out and then i'm excited we're gonna bring this third wheeler she calls herself i'm not third wheeler mama <laughs> i enjoy her company but um so yeah so that's what we're doing you excited mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, usually likes to go out but I'm gonna go put on my shoes because I just need to put on my shoes and then we will be ready to head out. All right, guys, so we are here. Uh, we're like 10 minutes late because it was like a really bad ac car accident in our way. So we, we made it though. That's what matters. All right, all right. So let's see how this goes. So pretty, so pretty. Good morning, good and yourself? Claudia? Okay, hey so I am out. Unfortunately, I was not able <clears throat> to record me, you know, getting the pill done because everything happened so fast. I went in there, she prepped my skin, and then um, when she was doing the pill, let me tell you, it burned. I was in tears. <laughs> it seriously burned. She was gonna go in um three times, but she was only able to do two times because I couldn't handle it. Seriously, felt like um like a chile, like the seeds, like the spicy, like an habanero was going all over my skin. It was burning so bad. Um, it feels better now, but um, but yeah. So I wasn't able to record in there, but this is what it looks like now. So it's, she said to expect some peeling on Sunday. So today's Friday. So I'm excited to see that. She's gonna be looking like a snake. <laughs> but um, yeah. So I'm ex <clears throat> sorry. I'm excited to see the results. You know, um, she told me that it will take about three, two to three peelings. Everybody's different, but two to three peelings to see like the results. Um, but I'm excited for that. I always. <clears throat> oh my God. I got pollito stuck. Um, but I already scheduled my appointment for next month. So I'm gonna get a hydrofacial again and then you know try to go 
like back and forth with the hydrofacial and then the chemical pill. Um, my appointment it's next month. That's my two month pre-op, you know, for my breast augmentation. So I'm going to do both things that day. But anyways, <clears throat> just gotta stay hydrated. <laughs> I just gotta stay hydrated, drink some water, and avoid anything touching my skin. Um, she also said not to be peeling or you know pick at the skin, and we should be fine. So, what are we gonna eat? Because I am hungry. Okay, okay. So let's get going. It's already what 10:47. Also, it was in there like for 45 minutes, and I did get um um. A moisturizer last last week I got um, a moisturizer for daytime and today I got the moisturizer for nighttime so yep so that's their skin line yeah. you ready mm -hmm. okay vamanos <laughs> all right so we're we ordered some tacos I ordered some tacos so we can you know we're parking our romantic spot here in the parking lot and we're just having some rolled tacos from Filibertos and they're so nice and fresh, they're crunchy. The burritos all wide open. And then these tacos. So we're just gonna eat real quick and then I don't know where we're gonna head out. Because we I don't know. I mean we were we, we had plans to go to the furniture store and then do run some errands, but because I cannot wear the mask, you know obviously everywhere we go we have to wear a mask. I don't know how that's gonna go. Um, I also had to go to Walmart and get some groceries and stuff, so we'll see what we end up doing after. But we're gonna enjoy our taco right now, and then, yeah, yeah. enjoy your burritos. Alright guys, so we are back home. I ended up going to Walmart, and I went to buy a few things, and I'm home now with my little baby. And you bought me a toothbrush. I bought you a new toothbrush. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm just having a piece of cheesecake right now. Um, today I'm actually going to just clean and I'm gonna work on a recipe um, so I already have all my ingredients and let me tell you that my face let me give you guys a little close-up what my face looks like um, it does feel dry it feels so dry um, it kind of it's itchy a little bit which that's normal but I'm so thankful that that burning like the burning sensation only lasted you know like a couple minutes while I was getting it done because oh my goodness it was painful and I'm, I have a high tolerance for pain let me tell you that um, but that that was just to a whole new level um, but anyways I think when it comes to the face I'm very sensitive so yeah so that hurt it so I'm just gonna I don't know I cannot wash it or do anything for a couple more hours um, which I'm not planning on doing my makeup or anything so that's fine I don't know how I'm gonna do it for like tomorrow or the next day you know when I get ready so we'll see how I wake up. Um, I have like the special sunscreen or moisturizer. So I have to keep my face very moisturized. Um, but anyway, so yeah. So today I'm just going to clean my kitchen. It's okay. I just have to wash a couple of dishes from last night. And then just clean like my bathroom and everything else. Um, and today, it's Friday guys. And my kids go back to school in August 4. Um, well, that's you know for right now because we still don't know for sure with everything you know with with the virus and stuff we don't know what's gonna happen but the school does offer um online online classes and of course in person or you can do like both like some days you go in person and the, the other days at home um so i have to go back and enroll giovanni i have to take his immunization card i lost it i know I have, you know what? It's funny because I have never, ever, ever, you know, my whole 13 years, 14 years of being a mom, I have never lost any um, important paper or document. Um, but I lost Giovanni's immunization card, so there goes that. So I had to go to his, to his uh, pediatrician, and then I requested a copy, or not a copy, but I requested like a immunization record. But that's gonna take a while. They did give me like his um, immunization like his record so i have to take that to this to the school so we can finish um registering him 
Oh, it's exciting, you know, because my baby, he's actually the only one out of all five kids that he's going to go to kindergarten at five years of age. You know, normally my kids, they'll be like um, turn about to be six or no, they will be six because of their day because of their birthday or whatever um so he is the only one that's going to be like five years old going to kinder and then you know everything going on it's it's sad it's a bittersweet moment because i was really looking forward you know for that special day taking him to kindergarten and experiencing the whole you know first day of school um but unfortunately it's not going to happen uh, we are going to i think keep him here you know homeschool them uh so it's uh, it's a bittersweet moment but you know what you guys we were because we were talking about you know if we should maybe let them go to school and you know but i mean i feel like whatever each parent decides you know like nobody should say anything or get involved because either way you decide to keep them at home or send them it's a hard decision to make you know so that's uh, i feel like nobody should ever get involved into that um but me and liz were talking about it and angel you know my oldest this is his eighth grade his last year in middle school so he did want to go to school you know but i don't know i mean i feel like maybe we should you know have him go to school and i mean because i honestly don't feel like this is ever going to go away you know this is something that we just have to adapt to and just live you know learn how to live like that with the virus and just adapt to this new lifestyle but um i mean obviously you know it's just so crazy it's so crazy it's affecting us it's affecting each and every single one of us in some kind of way you know so it sucks but we just have to do what we have to do and move forward all right so the pediatrician just called so his immunization card is ready so we're gonna go pick it up and are you gonna go to oh the office is closed today so we're gonna have to wait till monday but like that at least we have it and giovanni will be ready to get enrolled to kindergarten how exciting so you ready yeah. let's go so hot so hot now i was drinking this um rebel watermelon let me tell you at the heat and chamoy you're welcome let's go so we're waiting well i'm gonna stay here and wait because i don't wanna you know i just hit my face with the mask it is so hot you guys it is so 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 hot and you know what my heart goes out for everybody that's struggling you know homeless it's it breaks my heart every time i see someone in the corner you know uh, especially with this heat in arizona it's crazy um but anyway so i don't know right now we are actually we're actually thinking i don't know i'm very ugh. okay so we have this project you know that we're gonna start working on and i am so excited um i can't wait you know to share it for details with you guys but so i don't know so uh, louis is trying to convince me i'm very cool that you guys like oh. one thing about me is that like me i'm very cheap okay like when it comes to certain things i'm very cheap um you know unless it comes like full full on things <laughs> you know that's why i like to spend my money on you know bigger things um but when it comes to like for example like right now Louis is trying to convince me to buy a laptop and i'm like oh, is there like any other way around it where i don't need a laptop you know because we have three computers at home um i have my phone i can use notes and all that stuff uh, but honestly i don't like being upstairs like i don't like being upstairs and just stay in the computer and then because that's like the kids area so they're there all day long and I don't know for me it's like distraction you know so when i'm up there it's just full-on distractions so i do need a computer like i need a way you know so i can start working on something so uh, i think i think i'm just gonna go you know give in and just go buy the laptop um we're all we're gonna need it anyways with, with the kids you know being at home um obviously giovanni he's gonna be doing online school everybody's gonna be doing online school so that's five kids that are gonna be on computers so i mean it's gonna benefit me you know in the long run if anyway so it don't really matter so i think i'm just gonna go buy the laptop <laughs> i was like really trying not to you know trying to not spend the money on that but i guess we're just gonna have to do it so right now best way is like just right on right, right around the corner so i think we're just gonna go stop um yesterday we went to see some laptops and i just needed for 
for the project that we're gonna work on and because I do want to start editing my my vlogs um so that will be good just for that I just need that I need it for that and of course you know for the kids if they start school in school which well Giovanni mainly um so I think we're just gonna do it I'm gonna go stop and get the laptop it's gonna be like like the the iMac is that what it is the iMac yeah I think the cheapest one that's just just for that use um Lewis edits all the videos but you know I'm gonna start helping him out um uh, editing the vlogs because the vlogs are super easier you know for me it's just it will be just putting them on together cut and edit and boom upload um for the for the cooking you know it's more I don't know Louis already has it down so he knows what he's doing so yeah so that's the thing so right now I think I'm just gonna go and get the laptop and yeah and I didn't want to get down over there so I didn't have to wear the mask but here I am wearing the mask I just hope it's not rubbing against my skin just don't move it oh, just like that. Uh, super high grade I'm not gonna lie to you way high grade i7 16 gigabytes of ram 512 top of the line you're gonna get I do have to uh, step down which is just half half the memory yeah all right so we're just gonna see that I don't have anything on stock but um I'm just gonna see and oh my god I'm so thankful and lucky that Lewis knows everything about computers and stuff because he builds them but um because otherwise I would not be knowing what to look for so we are out of luck they don't have any in stock so most likely we have to order it online all right guys so we came to another best buy i think they have them here huh yeah they said so they, they said they have them here so hopefully we can get it here and if we don't it's meant for us not to buy it well, we're gonna get it <laughs> okay mom knows I will. this will be me get this one <laughs> <laughs> or this one <laughs> the macbook or this one huh or this one oh, let me see because this is touch screen it's pretty cool all right guys so they don't have any other laptops it's weird because they told us that they had it so they don't have it so now we're gonna go to the other Best Buy in Avondale. So see if they can if we can find it over there. And it looks like we're going higher and higher every time. <sighs> higher and higher every time. We started with the nine hundred dollars, and then the thirteen hundred dollars, and now we're looking at sixteen hundred dollars. So we're going higher and higher. And then we were looking at the other laptops, but like I said, Mr. Bob the Builder over here. Uh, you know because he knows a lot about computers and processors and what is that called ship the chip chip the picture thing what is it called graphics card the graphics card the chip the chip <laughs> the graphics card I don't know anything for me I would like I showed you guys I would just be going in there buying the cheapest one let's get out <laughs> but I okay. think I think what right, go ahead turn it off but um so yeah so we're gonna go to oven real quick and then oh who would have thought that we're gonna have a best buy adventure but we're gonna head over there see if they have it okay so if we don't find it here this is it we're not going to know deer valley to go look find it. tell me it's in deer valley i'm going i'm not this is it no it's not i need here. to go home and finish doing what i was doing what are you doing I was nothing <laughs> <laughs> okay so let's get going hi guys so we got it got my new baby here my new investment <laughs> you get the other one, sir? no so let me tell you guys so once we were there there were so many other options and we could have went cheaper route right mm -hmm. but mr over here uh went with apple so if you're looking for a computer make sure that you check your other options because there's plenty and they're cheaper but anyways we got the laptop so i can start working on our project and then i'm excited we can get home now you happy so it's not mine <laughs> give it to you after i'm done yeah right anyways so we're gonna go home now i'll probably grab something to eat because 
we are hungry again. Ugh. You wanna cook something? Well, I still have to go cook. I still have to cook, but we have to find something real quick. All right, guys. So we're back home, and we stopped at Jack in the Box. And oh my God, look how cute! Bro, you just showed my fat ass stuff in my face. Oh. <laughs> Redo? Yeah. Alrighty guys, so we are back home and we stopped the Jack in the Box and oh my god, look how cute. Look how cute are these little mini tacos. Parecen llaveros, you know, like keychains. Look how little, look at the meat that they have. Like seriously, bro? Bro, we got ripped off. Why? We're missing two things. Oh my god. The chicken. The two chickens. That's your fault. I guess I have to go back to Jack in the Box because they forgot to give us, um, what is it, the popcorn chicken? I don't know, we got two order of that and we forgot, well they forgot to give it to us and we normally check, you know, before we leave um, the restaurant, we always check to make sure that we get all the food because we order a lot and you, it had to happen the day that we didn't check. <laughs> so anyways, I'm gonna go back and it's like quite a, uh, a drive, so. I'll catch you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Ready, so I just got the food and the good thing, oh, because I didn't order anything because you know how I told you guys that I was gonna make some food and I'm still gonna make it. Um, so I didn't order myself anything, that's why I came by myself. Well, with this little girl, but she already had her sandwich. <laughs> so I had um, this food, the chicken was actually for Angel, so um, for Angel and Louis, <laughs> you have too? yeah. But anyway, so we're gonna head home now and then I have to go to my dad's later And a lot of you guys were asking me about what did my mom? What was my mom's reaction? You know about my boob job? Um, you guys will see I'll ask her uh, I'm gonna go to her house and then we'll ask her together and you will find out <laughs> Alright guys, so we're here at my mom's Saluda Amma, <laughs> but she's over here blowing her nose <laughs> Yo que saludes. Que saludes. Sí. And there's my dad. And there's my sister-in-law and El Chango over there. <laughs> Giving a booty view. Anyway, so we're gonna ask mom. Um you guys been asking a lot of what she thought about my surgery. So she honestly hasn't told she hasn't told me anything about it. I think because it's already done, but well, let's ask her and find out. Ama, so la gente quiere saber qué es tu opinión de mi cirugía. Ni mejor ni digo. Ya sabes. No, nada más. Ya sabes mis opiniones. Mejor calladita, pero más bonita. De verdad, es la pregunta que todos me preguntan. Estoy en desacuerdo, ya lo sabes. Obvio, obvio. Estoy en contra de las cosas que van en contra de Dios. <laughs> There's your answer, you guys. Uh, she didn't say nothing to me, obviously, because it's already done. But I know if I was still living with her, I would have probably heard a whole lecture. But she's against it, and she's against it. That's it. <laughs> but what she gonna do? Take him away? Ni modo que me los puedas quitar. Digo que ya está. La obediencia, alguien te la puede quitar. Yeah, but yo digo, yo digo que lo, yo, I believe that, ¿cómo dice? <laughs> yo creo que al, digo, tú hablas de lo, de la persona habla. Que tú te tienes que aceptar tu cuerpo tal y como eres. Y lo que Dios nos dio es creación de Dios y te tienes que aceptar. Si es una cirugía porque tú la ocupes, porque tienes cáncer, porque hay que hacértela. Pero no porque nada más porque hoy oh, yo no me gusta mi nariz. No. Pero no sí, fue la nariz. Me la, así me la quitó así. No, 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 no. Tienes que aceptar tal y como Dios te creó. Pues sí me acepto, sí me acepto, pero quiero ser más feliz. No, pues nunca vas a ser feliz porque sí. a mí me oh, quiero más nalga azul. No, no. Eso, yo lo, eso, eso el gimnasio lo hace. No, no, la belleza no. es la de adentro. Mira. Por eso es también la, la tengo. También la tengo. ¿Para qué quieres todo? Por belleza por fuera y todo por dentro. Fuera y no, podrida. No, no. Pero no estoy podrida, estoy, estoy no. buena. No, porque no quiero nada. Tienes que hacerla así como Dios quiere. Sí, pero uno hace, un, Dios 
Uno habla si cree en Dios sobre lo, como vive día a día. Por eso. So, si yo soy buena persona, yo soy buen hermano, es, y eso, mira, Dios está cosa, contento con eso. No, Dios está contento con que era su voluntad. Eso es como Dios está contento, que era su voluntad. Eso no es su voluntad. Esa no es voluntad de Dios. El que no vayas a, a la casa de él, tampoco es voluntad de Dios. El que no eduques en tus hijos, bajo, tampoco es voluntad de Dios. Dios creó, dejó 10 mandamientos. ¿Qué piensas, sis? I mean, you do what makes you happy. Right? Yeah. I'm not against it. She's not against it. No. My dad, ¿qué opina el público? Mi dad, ¿qué opina el público? ¿Estás feliz porque te compras las chichas? ¿El qué? ¿Estás feliz porque te compras las chichas? Porque todo, todo lo que nos da Dios, alrededor vamos a estar conforme y satisfecho porque es una bendición de Dios, la natural. Todo lo natural. La belleza se da. La belleza es potente. ¿Sí? Pero si lo tienes todo, si lo tengo todo, no es necesario. Sí, se puede ser um, si buena tienes, de dentro. Si, si lo tienes todo. En esta vida, ¿para qué tú tengas todo? Es tener, tener a Dios. Si tú tienes a Dios, lo tienes todo. Si no tienes a Dios dentro de tu matrimonio, dentro de tu no tienes nada. Por eso, por eso eh, pasa lo que pasa la gente que tiene de más, se hace cirugía para quitarse. ¿Y qué pasa? Se enferma. No le sale bien la cirugía. ¿Por qué? Porque es castigo de Dios. Y ellos mismos no, se castigan. No castiga, bueno, Dios no castiga, pero uno mismo se castiga porque se está quitando lo que Dios les dio de corazón. Dios creó todo perfecto. Dios creó todo perfecto, a la perfección. Tú eres perfecta. Y te hizo bonita. Gracias a Dios te hizo bonita. ¿Te imaginas si te hubiera hecho fea? ¿Eh? Mira, Dios te hizo a ti. Si a mí que me hizo fea, soy fea. Por ejemplo, yo hablo de ti. Gracias a Dios que te hizo bien, que te hizo a la perfección. Inteligente. Y, y muy bonita y todo, lo físico, el, el, el adentro también. A lo que te vas a comer, pero a las patas lo que, lo que tienes, tienes que ser es que se conforme con lo que Dios te da. Sí, esté conforme. No, no, es eso es nomás aumento. No, 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 un ajustito. Es como, es como de, Luis, ¿qué opinas? ¿Qué es tu opinión? ¿Ah? 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 What do you think? I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. What do you think, brother? David. He's like, I'm right. Before I get lectured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, you guys, you heard it. That's it. Uh, we're not going to talk about Christmas. We're just going to cut it short because I don't want to get yelled at. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, we're going to cut it short. We're just going to cut it short because I don't want to get yelled at. Natalie, what do you think? ¿Qué dices? No, que ella no se va a poner nada, que no, porque si es bonita, si es hermosa, que si como dice tú la que es hermosa, preciosa. Sí, creo que ella dice que es bonita. ¿Así que no te gusta con ella? ¿No te gusta con ella? No, nada, que necesito así las que le dio así, ¿verdad? Si te gusta, te gusta. ¿Lo tienes hecho? I will support her no matter what. <laughs> you're my daughter, you will always be my daughter, and if you're whatever makes you happy, I'm gonna be happy for you. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> hey guys, so we are back home. We've been home for a little bit now, and um, I think I'm just going to end the vlog here. And as you can see, my face is getting worse, um, but it is gonna get worse before it gets any better. But that's that, and that's okay. Um, but yeah, you know, I hope that answered a lot of your questions for those that were curious about what, what my mom um, thought about my breast augmentation. Uh, to be honest, you guys, my mom has never, never agreed to any of that, um, to piercings other than than uh, the ears. And obviously, I have my piercing and my belly button, and I got it, like, what? Uh five years ago six years ago and um she's against that too she's against any of that and you know i respect her and that's why i always i did it once i was outside of her home you know once i was no longer living with her just to respect her in that way obviously you know it is my body and i believe that as long as i'm happy then it shouldn't uh, matter you know because it's not hurting anyone i know as a parent you know we want the best for our kids and we want them to look certain way you know because they do represent us but i mean obviously if 
I mean, I'm not hurting anyone, you know, and like I said, because uh, she does bring religion a lot, you know, into into everything. And I respect her and I respect her, you know, we all believe, you know, we have our own beliefs and that's it. Uh, but I do believe, you know, that at the end of the day, it's our actions from, you know, our actions of every day is what makes us a Christian or, you know, the good under God's eyes. So, um so i don't know it's okay i when i got my breast augmentation i didn't told anyone not even my mom and it's so funny you guys because the day of my surgery that week obviously you know i knew that i was going to get my surgery for months months and months um my son my oldest told my mom and my dad uh one day that they came over to visit they came over and um you know i had talked to my kids about my surgery and whatnot so they knew they were the only ones that were aware of the whole situation and um one day the mom and dad they do it they did came to visit uh my oldest told my mom so she was like really claudia te lo vas a hacer and i'm like oh uh, yeah you know that's that that was it um a, a week after that they had to go to mexico because you know because of um so, yeah they had to go to mexico so um <laughs> so i didn't tell them anything obviously because i did not want them to worry you know because they're already having a lot of things going on and then for me to worry them with my surgery you know i didn't want to um do that so i didn't tell them anything and it's so funny because the day of my surgery um like honestly you guys it was just so crazy that even like when i you know when i was waiting for for them to call me in uh, my dad called me like when they called me in my dad called me at the same time and you know what that scared me so bad you know because as a parent like we always have some sort of feeling um you know that feeling that lets you know if something's wrong or something's gonna happen or your kids or you know i don't know and i felt like oh my god what if that's my that's my dad my dad's feeling you know that um that he's going to lose me or something you know that i'm not gonna wake up um after my surgery so that scared me so bad that even though though um you know that i was thinking about that i didn't tell him i was going into surgery because again i didn't want to worry them they were in mexico so i just didn't worry them so once they got back is when they found out about my surgery and of course you know my mom was upset but she didn't say anything to me um i think you know at that point she was um how you say it she was like well yes hello so you know like what like she couldn't say anything because i don't know i don't know but she didn't tell me anything so that was her reaction so you know it's been a month or whatever but and obviously i do see my mom often because i pick her up for work and stuff but she has never told me anything so that's why i ask her in front of you guys so you guys can witness what she says and that's her response to everything um but it's okay you know i let her down obviously when i got pregnant from my my oldest when i was 15 years old and you know that was a story on that and it's okay i still love my mom to death and i'm still gonna be um you know doing the most i'm still gonna work and bust my butt off until i'm able to just tell her you know you don't have to work no more mom and i'm still gonna do everything for her no matter what uh, like i said you know at the end of the day is what she believes and i can't i'm not gonna change that and guys so i think we're just going to end the vlog here i hope you guys had enjoyed watching this video like i said you know my all about my my surgery i will be uh filming it pretty soon this like i said like this week i was going to i was supposed to uh film it but i don't know like the week went by so fast and i was just busy doing things so i just didn't have time to to record it but i will be recording it pretty soon and you know once again if you have any questions um just let me know in the comments down below and that question that i hope you know about my parents it's already answered i know that was one of the most asked questions on my other vlog so that was their reaction <laughs> but anyways guys so i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and also if you're new to my channel please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family thank you so much for watching and i'll see, see you guys in the next video bye, bye. Oh, yeah. Eres perfecta mujer, de la cabeza a los pies, tú pasas de mi nivel, tú tienes el piquete, de la forma que tú besas mami, más simétrica que un origami, de la forma que tú besas mami, más simétrica que un origami, eres perfecta.